you're scared to do something or you're not sure and you're not certain because you don't know what the outcome is going to be, I'm going to tell you to stop fucking thinking that way. Start thinking of what is coming in to your brain, into your mind, that vision that you see, even if it's crazy, even if it's scary, even if it's uncertain, um, and do it. Just full throttle, go through it, do it, manifest that shit, don't look back and keep on going. Because the thing is, is that that is what's going to segregate you from the rest of this world out there. Hey guys, Jen. So I hopped on here a minute ago, but I couldn't get my phone right. So let's start this over again. So today I've decided that with all the chaos going on in the world that I'm going to start something a little bit different for the next seven days. So the next seven days, I am going to go over some skincare tips, um, nutrition health, maybe throw that in a bit, but we're gonna go over skincare tips and it's not so much salesy, it's more or less just to help you with skin in general. So I wanted to go over why I feel that moisturizers harm your skin. So I'm sure that I'm gonna get some great feedback back from this from people, but I am not a big moisturizer wearer. And the reason behind that is because we have our epidermal, we have our middle layer, and we have our dermis. And underneath the dermis is where we have all those baby skin cells, um, like our fibroblasts go, everything is like moving up in the world to come up and plump our skin and that's how it works. So with putting on a moisturizer on your skin, now this isn't gonna be for everybody who's dry, so I'm going over. When you put on a oil or a moisturizer on the skin, depending on what kind, and I'm gonna go through that. But say you decide, like for instance, I hear a lot of my clients say, oh, well I use coconut oil, I do this for my skin. It is the worst possible thing you can do to your skin. So when you're putting that on the surface of your skin, those little like baby baby uh, cells down below or stem cells that are down there that are trying to come up and plump the skin, they think to themselves, they're all nice and plump. And then they're like, oh, well, I don't have to produce, I don't have to come up because we're already moisturized. And so by sending that signal, what that does is that makes that baby cell just kind of shrivel up and shrink and doesn't work properly. So hence, that is why we have oil production in our skin. We have that gift of producing oil to lubricate the tissues of our skin. So that's the difference between that. So I wanted to go over oil. Oil is okay on the body. The reason behind that is because our body has different... Um, different sebaceous glands than what our face does as well as our hair. So in essence, what we do to our face is completely different than what we do to our body. Another thing is when we look at ingredients, so I know a lot of my line does carry certain oils in it, but you need to look at active ingredients. So if you're on the drier side and you do need a moisturizer, you want to make sure that in the active ingredients, it's okay to have an, an oil, like a jojoba oil, things like that, because it is a plant-derived oil. But if you are putting direct oil on your skin, you are actually not doing any benefits to your skin whatsoever. You are actually dehydrating your skin and you're aging your skin faster. So I do have a podcast that goes into like depth of exactly moisturizers, what certain moisturizers do versus creams, any of that. Another thing I really wanted to go over is putting a gel on your skin. Now I know a lot of clients that have acne um, or, overprodu or overproductive oil glands, they tend to like the gel because it um, kind of like mats the skin and sucks the oil. The only thing is, is that with a gel, it is an alcohol based most likely, and it will dehydrate your skin. So think about what I just told you about those baby cells underneath and those fibroblasts that are trying to produce, you know, the, the plumpness to get that going in your skin. You're creating havoc with that and you're actually causing the aging process 
to worsen as you get older. So all those people that like those really bad astringents or strong astringents, I should say. So what I believe with what we should be doing with our skin just from my education is instead of using moisturizers, lotions, oils, things like that on the skin, we need to be using some sort of a retinol. Now, I like retinol hydrate. I think it's better for the skin than a retinol. Um, I will go over that on one of my seven days going forward, so stay tuned for that because we'll jump into that one. Um, and antioxidants are huge. So antioxidants are a huge factor for the aging, and we'll go over that on another one as well. So my tip for today is to really rethink your moisturizers, your oils. Do not use them on your skin. It is harming your skin and is actually aging you. So if you want any questions, feel free to DM me, but follow along because every single day I'm going to do a live about five to 10 minutes max to go over seven tips to help you with your skin. So I hope this helps. Have a fabulous Wednesday, you guys, and I will see you tomorrow.